Hey everyone, Ashley Gilligan here, Independent Manager with Pink Zebra, and uh, today I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent. Um, nothing bad, nothing targeted towards anyone or towards Pink Zebra by any means. Um, just something that has been on my mind for the past couple days, and I originally had planned on filming a video talking about all the new changes with Pink Zebra and um, kind of going through the new catalog with you and giving you my thoughts and opinions, but I figured this was far more important um, there's many of you out there that probably need to hear this, and um, my thoughts on this were inspired by one of my downlines. She's fairly new. She's only been with Pink Zebra a couple months now, um, and she messaged me the other day, and she said, Ashley, um, you know, I'm thinking about quitting Pink Zebra, and mind you, she's only been joined for just a couple months. Um, she said, you know, I'm just really not doing as good as I thought I would, um, and the words that everyone has heard before um, popped up on my screen um, and she said I really thought that Pink Zebra was going to sell itself um, and you know I talked to her about it afterwards I encouraged her I you know let her know hey I'm here for you if you need some help kind of boosting your business um, you know I can do that for you I can help you um, and it just kind of got me thinking over these past few days about that statement, the product sells itself, or, um, you know, this product's going to sell itself, or pink zebra sprinkles are going to sell itself. So I just wanted to give you my thoughts and opinions on that statement right there. Um, now, of course, it's a true statement. Um, this product right here, these amazing, most of the time decadent, delicious, amazing, potent, strong, long-lasting smelling sprinkle, um, as soon as this carton or a jar or your little sample scoop gets to someone's nose or as soon as these sprinkles hit someone's wax warmer, um, they're going to fall in love. This product is going to sell itself, okay? Um, but this right here, these little itty bitty wax sprinkles, um, they're not going to hop in a car or prance around the town and introduce themselves to all the people in your town that have never met them before. Your job as a Pink Zebra Independent Consultant um, is to introduce this product to people. Okay, and like I said, you know, it just kind of got me thinking about what she said. You know, she thought the product was going to sell itself. And um, no, I'm sorry to say it's not going to sell itself. Um, and our job, like I said, as Pink Zebra Independent Consultants, is to introduce this product to the people of the world that have not yet met Pink Zebra. And there are thousands, millions of people, actually, who have not heard of Pink Zebra or used Pink Zebra products before. Um, and so I just wanted to give you guys a couple of tips on how you can get your name out there, how to get the Pink Zebra brand out there. Um, you know, there's lots of different ways that you can do it. Um, but I'm just going to tell you the ways that have worked for me. Now, I'm not getting on here saying, look at me, like I sell so much or I recruit so much because that is far, far from the truth. Um, but I know how to make this business successful. It's just about doing it. Um, this, this company, I've never been with another direct sales company before. So, you know, I can't really compare it to any other companies. But so far with being with Pink Zebra, this company has made so many changes for the positive in the short two and a half years that I've been with this company. They really listen to the consultants. If we have suggestions on something that would make something easier or streamline better, they listen to that. They have put these changes in place for us. This company is like no other. This product is like no other. I have used tons of other wax, other candles, room sprays, diffusers. Nothing comes close to my Pink Zebra product and that's why I'm so you know passionate about Pink Zebra. Um, you know, and along with that, our hostess rewards are rock solid, amazing. Um, I've had parties with other companies and there's nothing that compares to Pink Zebra rewards um, when you are a hostess. We get to pick anything out of the catalog absolutely free if you hit that $250 mark or more. If you are a consultant, you know the hostess rewards, but if you're not, let me tell you. Um, with a $250 party, you get one free item, anything out of the catalog, doesn't matter what the price is, doesn't matter if it's the most expensive product, um, and then you get to choose two half price products. A lot of companies that I've seen, they go by percentages, so if you have a $400 party, most of the time I've seen 10%, and that's $40, 
Um, that's insane. A $400 pink zebra product or party gets you two free products and three half price products. And then you qualify for our amazing hostess VIP box for just 30 bucks. Um, so you really can't go wrong with pink zebra hostess rewards. It's just up to you as the independent consultant you are to get this in people's faces and let them smell the amazing aromas that is pink zebra. So my first tip on how to market yourself um, and how to kind of get your name out there. Um, this is my number one way of running my business from the get go is brand yourself. Pink Zebra obviously is the brand you're representing, but you're really not selling the product at first. You're selling yourself. So brand yourself so that you're recognizable. Um, stay consistent with that as well. Now what I do, and this is just my suggestion, this is just what works for me. Um, if I create any image at all, whether it be an advertising promotion, like an individual special I'm doing, like my three jars, get one free, um, or something like that, is I put my name on that. Um, and I learned that a long time ago. I actually took um, this really amazing picture when I first first joined Pink Zebra um, of this beautiful spread of sprinkles, okay? Um, and I posted it on social media. Well, people were stealing the picture, or, you know, stealing the picture. People were use, using the picture. I didn't mind if they used it. Um, but after that, I was like, dang, this is such a popular picture. Um, this picture rocks. I really wish I would have put my name on it so everybody knows that it was my picture. Um, and if it gets shared, you know, the hopefully the business or the customers or whatever is going to come back to me. So I wish that I would have done that with a specific picture. Um, it actually came with a couple of issues as well. Um, one day I got an email from home office saying that there was a strike against me on my consultant account um, because somebody had used that photo that I took um, and posted a lovely eBay ad. And so they recognized the picture. They recognized it was taken by me because uh, I guess a lot of people knew it was taken by me or something. I don't know. Um, and the name was Ashley's PZ on the eBay account. So certainly they seen Ashley's PZ and the picture that Ashley Gilligan took and they automatically assumed that I was selling on eBay. That is a huge no-no in this company and I ain't gonna mess that up, okay? No. So that being said, if I would have had my name in that picture, then nobody else would have wanted to use it um, because that was my picture, my brand. So anytime I make images, I always put, why are there so many vehicles going so slow, like in front of my house right now? There's a Terminator guy, and now there's like another one, and then there's a cop earlier, and then the postman person. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I do, I make a lot of pictures and I share them with the team, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, I slap my name on it because if my customers see that that's my logo, everybody knows that it's mine and they're going to come back to me, hopefully. Um, now that same guy just turned around and went that way. Anyway. So my second tip um, is to stay consistent. Now, staying consistent, you can stay consistent in all aspects of your business. Um, you can consistently brand yourself. You can consistently, um, you know, post certain things or post sales. Um, but when I think of being consistent, I mean for myself personally, be consistent in letting everyone know that you are still an independent consultant um, and. You know, I've been with Pink Zebra for two and a half years. I've had some great months. I've had some really, really crappy months. Um, but I have never, ever once um, gave the impression that I'm no longer selling Pink Zebra. Like, that is not going to happen. My team is rocking right now. I have recruited so many people over these last few months. And I'm very proud of that because I have worked hard and I've tried to stay consistent. Um, in other words, fake it till you make it. Even if you have zero dollars in sales, continue posting those things in your VIP group. Continue posting um, on your Facebook fan page. Just keep it up because if people see that you're not posting for six months at a time and then all of a sudden, oh, Ashley posted um, that she's looking for people to host parties, like people are not going to take you seriously if you're not staying consistent. Um, and I will tell you that when you are a new consultant, I know that it's tough. Um, I've been there. I know that it's hard to get parties booked. I know that it's hard to hit your sales goals. But if you really truly work at it, I promise after one year of being a consultant, you are going to have a really great customer base of regular people that continue to order from you. They know you sell Pink Zebra. Um, they know you've got the products on hand if you do carry um, cash and carry like I do. So they're going to keep coming back to you. It took me a good solid year. Sorry I keep bumping the table. My um, baby belly keeps 
pushing it. I'll scoot back a little bit. Um, it took me a good solid year to actually get to the point where I had people messaging me and saying, hey, I need a refill on sprinkles. Um, or anytime there was a sale, I would text people. I keep my customers' um, contact information in my phone. So if there is a really amazing sale or if I'm running an individual special, I will go through that contact list and I'll say, hey, um, so-and-so, I'm running a special on this. Do you need any sprinkles? Um, and that usually generates um, a good majority of sales each month, even if I'm not having a party. So that's my little tangent. That's my little rant. Um, you know, I hope this opened your eyes a little bit if you are struggling with Pink Zebra. Trust me, I know it's a struggle. Um, this is not by any means a get-rich-quick thing. And again, you know, the phrase it sells itself does not always mean what you think it does. Um, so just continue staying consistent, make a name for yourself, let everyone know in your town that you are the independent consultant for that area. And I promise the sales will start rolling in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment below and tell me your thoughts on that phrase. The product sells itself. Um, and remember fake it till you make it guys. I love you all so much. I just wanted to say thank you for all the lovely comments I've received um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and think like speaking of subscribing I just recently hit 600 subscribers on my YouTube channel mind-blowing I never thought that was gonna happen I never had like a goal like oh I want to get all these subscribers no it's not like that um, I did not create this channel with intentions of having a huge following which I know 600 people isn't huge but still like 600 of you are watching my videos um, and I just am glad that I'm able to help and um, I also like sharing my thoughts on here. So thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will talk to you in my next video. Um, I will have the, um, you know, my thoughts on the new fall and winter catalog video coming up very soon. So keep an eye out for that. Check the description box for more information, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye. Gotta go pick up the kids from grandma's now. Woo!